Think Wonder is a thinking routine developed at Project Zero, which provides a wide range of free teaching resources with a focus on discovering what children are thinking and learning. Such tools are well aligned with Reggio Emilia, which sees the teacher as a researcher in the classroom who pays attention to what the children notice and seeks to understand what they already know or believe about it and what they want to know. The rich insights that this can provide about the student's current capabilities, curiosities, and needs help teachers design activities, provocations, projects, spaces, discussions, and curriculum that engage the children and support their learning and development. The See Think Wonder routine is a good example of this approach. In this teacher activity, it serves simultaneously as an exercise for the children to pay deeper attention to their environment, their own thoughts, and the ideas of their peers, and also as a way for you to practice paying deeper attention to them in order to further develop your image of the child. To begin this activity, you'll need an object, environment, or experience that can inspire curiosity in the children and a way to note their responses to it. For older students, pencils and paper will do, although sheets pre-printed with prompts will help the students remember the three different responses that are wanted. There's no need in this exercise to be concerned with spelling or complete sentences, but if any students have trouble writing their responses, it's also fine to let them respond verbally. You and any other adults helping in the classroom can write down or record their responses. The best time to do this phase of the activity is during or immediately after an experience that exposes the children to complex, interesting, real-world phenomena. For example, during or after a neighborhood field trip or formal field trip, a provocation, a visit to the class by a parent, storyteller, performer, or expert, a presentation by a classroom visitor, a visiting class, or their own classmates, or an activity that asks the students to explore, share, or create something. You can also vary the activity to feature other senses, for example, asking what the students heard during a musical performance or storytelling session or a walk in the woods. The routine itself consists of answering three questions. What do you or did you see? What do you think about it? And what do you wonder about it? A single answer to each question will provide plenty of material for the rest of the activity but do make sure that all of the children get a chance to answer each question before you move on. This gives the students a chance to articulate what they themselves are thinking rather than echoing what they hear others say and ensures that everyone will have a voice in class discussions. Do help with writing their answers down if needed, but don't suggest answers. If any student has trouble answering a question, Verbal prompts or rewording the questions may help. Sharing and discussing the students' responses is the next step in the activity. While the children's see, think, wonder responses should be recorded either during the experience or immediately afterward when it's still fresh in their minds, the discussion can wait until there's a block of time to focus on it. You may even want to organize this step for example, by grouping similar responses to discuss together. If the activity is producing good discussions, you can stretch this phase out over several class meetings or build on it in order to dig deeper into the children's ideas. Revisiting ideas over an extended period of time is good Reggio Emilia practice because it gives the children a chance to build and challenge their own theories about their experiences. In the discussions, remind the children of their responses, invite them to elaborate, and invite their peers to comment on each other's ideas. As with any good class discussion, make sure each student's thoughts are heard and respected by everyone.
If particularly engaging discussions or arguments start evolving and there's not enough time to let the children explore each other's thoughts, you can take notes on the discussion and revisit it later. For example, by arranging additional experiences or discussions. During discussions, you may want to display the original response sheets or write summaries on a board or on a large sheet of paper. Displaying any documentation that you create will help everyone to continue to think about interesting issues in between discussions. When you feel you've finished a see, think, wonder routine, you may want to assess and reflect on the process. Here are some questions from a Reggio Emilia perspective that might help. Did any of the children have trouble participating? And if so, what might make it easier for them to remember, voice, or explain what they noticed, thought, and wondered about? Were the curiosities, arguments, or confusions that were expressed relevant in any way to current or planned projects or to your curriculum goals? Did they suggest a new avenue for explorations or projects? What surprised you about what the children were noticing, thinking, or wondering? What might you do to deepen your own understanding of the children's current curiosities and theories about the world? And focusing on what you learned about the students, if you had to fill out a see, think, wonder sheet about this activity, what would it say? Thank you.